Hello. Welcome back to Eclipse RP. So in the last episode, we uh, ended up at the prison, but we have finally served our time. We're finally out, and uh, I think it's time to group up with everyone again, and uh, hopefully get some more action going once again. But uh, what I think I'm going to do now is probably text some people, get a ride ad here, and then uh, kind of continue from there, kind of see what's been going on since I've been out. Um, I think last night I uh, ended was where the last episode ended up. This is the morning after, so I'm not really sure what has gone on in the war since then. But uh, I guess we'll figure it out. So I think we're going to go call someone or text someone, get a ride out of here, and then I will uh, cut back when something is happening. Hopefully we're going to be able to uh, do good in the war, and hopefully we've been doing good in the war, but uh, I guess we'll figure that out in uh, just a little bit. So, the main reason for me calling you were here today is because we were a little bit scattered. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but for those of you who haven't been in town for the longest of times, uh, like, the reason that, that people are struggling now is because you're not used to being on guard all the time. Like, you aren't fucking safe at the clothing store, you're not safe at fucking LSC. It's not even war times, this is just the normal shit. Like, get used to it being normal again. Treat it as normal. Like, one second a fucking blue bastard can be your friend, and the next minute he just flies, he wants to be bipolar and goes, fuck you. Like That's just how it is. Like, there doesn't always have to be this fucking big master plan. Sometimes good people can just do shit because they want to, and that's it. I mean, it's not even like that. Like, uh, I understand if people might not like the way things are right now, and I'm pretty sure most of the higher-ups don't like the way that shit, the shit is right now. And I mean, it's not gonna stay this way. Believe me, I'm betting that it won't stay this way for very long. It's because, uh, it's, it's kind of just shit for everybody. Uh, so, yeah, I'd like, I mean, I suppose you two have something to say, so... Yeah, but it's not, uh, I used to call this a morale boost, so this is going to probably be the worst thing I could say. I don't care. Okay, uh, I'm... We'll see. Um, I'm leaving, Dojin. Oh, fuck. Fair enough. Me too. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm sorry, but I didn't want any of this fighting to start. I tried to fucking talk to everybody, all the hiking, before this all shit broke loose to at least wait a few days. I was told to shut the fuck up, we're going to clap. We went to clap. Now look where we are, we're all fucking wearing random colours, some of us with fucking shaved heads and we're hiding like little rats. This is the fucking third time I've been dragged into a war against council by High Command, and none of them fucking listen to me about it. I'm sorry, I've put too much time and too much money into this fucking organisation for this shit to be going on. I don't see the point anymore. And ask anyone here, I'm normally the most optimistic fucker, the most motivational I can be, but I'm just sick of it. God damn. Well, I mean, I can say that it's, it's like jumping ship now it's like it's it's not even that bad at the minute i mean the reality is that i've spent all day being chased around by council as many of us have but it's it's not fucking be or end all like if, if you leave things aren't gonna suddenly magically get better and everything will get more interesting a lot of the problems you have now will transition through you leaving and you'll probably find that you're even more alone after leaving, before you left. Well, and I feel like I'm alone right now, bro, let's be honest with you. Where's High Command? Where's anyone to fucking help right now? We've been told to lay low. That's, that's it. I... It's fucking rough on everybody, mate, literally. But the fact is, is that, like, these hardest times are when people have to pull through most. That's why I'm sat here calling everyone here. I give everyone frequency. I, I, it's not even my place to do this shit. I just say, nah, I can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. I just say, fuck it. It's whatever. Like, I'm, I've not invested fuck all in this. I've just put time, that's about it. And it's I... like... It, 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 honestly, there's not a ship to jump to that's better than this one right now. No, there's not. I'm gonna make my own ship. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I can tell you now that's a hell of a lot more stressful than sitting on a I know it ship. is. I know it's it so is, but at least I don't have hot-headed fucking people above me telling me what to do, which 
Oh, he seems to be the downfall. It's a fucking miracle we're here for this fight. I'll tell you that much. The fact we survived the last two fucking wars against Council is a fucking miracle. Because both times we got fucking smoked. Because the same shit happened. The first day we decided to try and do it, we gather numbers up. We have fucking 60, 70 people. Day two, we got fucking 25. Because nobody's fucking about to grind. Nobody's about to grind. Like I said, this isn't anything like the WCA war. Nothing like it. It's half. And look where we are. There's fucking... The numbers we had yesterday compared to this now, and this is a fucking supposed to be everybody in town right now, and this is from fucking how many gangs? Obviously murder and Doge. Anyone else? Any other gangs here? I don't think so. But still. On a normal day-to-day -day basis. basis. Yeah, on a normal day-to-day -day basis, we have this many numbers in each gang alone. Doge would have this many numbers. Murder would have about the same. But like the thing is, the council isn't going to come to an agreement anymore. They said, fuck this, we're wiping those and that's it. There's no, there's no ifs or buts about it. And murder, you, you might be able to do, make some agreement. You might be able to do what we done, pay taxes or whatever to get over it and fucking build yourselves up stronger. And maybe try something else in the future, I don't know. Yeah, but as it stands, council are sick of us. This is the third time they've had to fight us now. You think, you honestly think they're going to let us come out the other side of it? I mean... <sighs> Basically, as as long as you still have okay. like the will to fight, there there is no there's still a fight no matter what you do, right? So the fact of the matter is, you look at oh. the Brooks for example, they are oh, as we up. all know, for the most part, still a thing. Did they get wiped the fuck out? Yes. Did they have to go through loads of shit where they've been fucked by everybody? Yes. Most of these gangs that are sat on top right now went through the exact same shit, if not worse. As techers, they, they spent months being absolutely shit on by the council. The council said they wouldn't leave them alone. No matter what, they just keep shitting on them. El Boro, they had to leave it completely. And they just had to fucking, I don't know if they scattered up north then, but they scattered completely. So it's like, this is the kind of shit that you have to go through as a criminal. Like, it's not all good. It's criminal oh, I'm aware of that. This is, the, this is the third war I fought against them. I know for a fact it's not. A dizzy, you're, you're right in that in some sense, because they weren't going to hit us. Only We only had to deal with Zetas. But, like... <sighs> like, if anything, rather than jumping ship, I'd rather come to a consensus and follow that consensus. Like, uh... The, the... There is no consensus, bro. The, the council aren't going to let any Dojin survive. It's not, if Dojin will have to be disbanded, that, that's the end of it. And I can go down there and talk to them and, and they'll, they'll tell me the WCA. same. Bro, do, look at WCA, bro. They were told to pay 6 million, 900 drugs a week and give up their fucking on all of Grove or disband. It's going to be the same for us now. We're the next best thing. They got rid of WCA. We're down with their fucking, their, their problem. They'll do the same uh, to us. Well, here's the thing, is that A, physically cannot be done with us now. That they, they, if we choose to just continue fighting, even in the tiniest amount, if we choose to just have no guns, call police, are we disbanded? No. Is there Dude, any where, way to What's them the to point us? in that? What's like, the so fucking... Maybe this is my, just my opinion, but what's the fucking point if I can't take a point fifty out of my apartment and not feel like as soon as I step outside there's going to be 20 guys waiting for me to clap me? Because that's what it's been all day today. All day today, all day yesterday. And where the fuck is my high command to help? Th yeah, there's no plan. Their plan was, oh, look at our numbers, let's go beat them. The council have been the council for two fucking years for a reason. You can't just gather numbers and beat them. They wouldn't still be here if it was that easy. They have unlimited Time resources. Money. Exactly. Time, money, and wrap up. They have so have much money. more money, so many more yeah. guns. The Zetas had 10 mil in their treasury before they disbanded. 10 fucking mil from doing nothing. That means if they go to war, that 10 mil gets spent on guns and ammo, and their whole fucking army's armed for fucking weeks. Do, do you know the last rumor I heard? What's that? Blatniak joined and put 5 mil in their treasury. You yeah, that probably. As well. he's, he's wearing he's wearing the NLA colors. He's, he's rolling with Aztecas. He's funded the Aztecas for this war. Triads don't need funding, let's be real. They've been around long enough. They've had laptop long enough. They're more than set. They've got unlimited money compared NLA, to NLA, NLA maybe not, because they only got laptop recently. They only got the cartel connects. But now if they've got Blatniak's funding, that's it. Job's done. Why do you think Fog have been able to bring heavies out every time they were fighting us? Because Blatniak were funding them. Blatniak's... Man's, man's probably had to give a mil to everyone in this room and still have money Pops, to buy a fucking... Pops, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh. I don't know illegal. I don't know illegal. I don't know anything illegal. I don't know anything illegal. Alrighty, so 
I think it's going to be pretty much it for this episode. Um, there was a lot of stuff that happened afterwards as well. But unfortunately, my recording stuff for some reason did not record anything after I think the point where I did cut it to Steve, uh, Steven's perspective. Um, I'm not really sure what happened there. There was a lot of stuff happened of SWAT after. There was a couple things that happened a little bit later down the day or later on in the day. For some reason, again, my stuff didn't record anything. I'm not really sure what happened there. Hopefully, it won't happen again. Um, but I guess is going to be about it for this episode. Uh, seems like a lot of people since the end of that last clip have left as well. There's not many of us left, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, I think no matter what though, we'll stick with it to the end because we don't want to be seen as just abandoning ship when stuff goes wrong because that's not the way we do stuff. So we're going to stick with it till the end. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty rough. Actually, probably going to be very rough. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to win. I'm a little bit lacking confidence at the moment. But uh, I guess we'll see. You know, I'm going to stick with it, see how what happens. See what you guys want to see. What is that marker for? But I think that is going to be about it for this episode. Um, again, hopefully I have some action in the future. Hopefully this is not the last uh, video I'm making while I'm in Dojin. Hopefully some interesting stuff happens after that and it doesn't just get completely disbanded super fast. Because, you know, I, uh, I, I have, like, decent ideas that we could win. But um, it's honestly at this point not looking like it. But again... Uh, anything can change. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see, but either way, I'll stick through it to the end. Um, if it does end up disbanding, which honestly is probably what's m more likely to happen, um, I'll probably just stick solo for a while so I can stream a little bit more because I can I couldn't stream in the game because of meta gaming. Um, so I'll probably be streaming a lot more. Again, the link will be in the description if you want to follow that. But I think that is again going to be about it. Uh, I'm not really sure. Again, we'll probably just roll solo for a while if uh, Doji does end up getting disbanded and uh, figure out what we want to do after that. But uh, either way, I guess we'll see. Hopefully some more action's coming soon. Hopefully Dojin's uh, going to be fighting with this, but I guess we'll see. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, and if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.